You carry a bit of an invisible load as a mother and this is just one piece you don't have to carry because they're just thriving in these environments. I look for kids having fun, connected with their educators and yeah, we knew as soon as we walked into our centre that that was the one for Violet. She's a lot more confident within herself and she loves to tell us about her day. It actually blows my mind. She can speak Japanese. She was quite shy to start with, um, but as the days and the weeks went on at the childcare centre, she formed the relationships with a couple of friends there. Evie is a beautiful child. I have seen a lot of growth from her from the beginning of the year. She's definitely come out of her shell and it's been so lovely to see that. I think having those strong relationships with her has really helped. I'm so excited to see her go to school. I think she'll have a great time. It's about confidence, being comfortable with other people. It's about being enthusiastic to just try new things and be in new places. And all of that is really beautifully nurtured at these centres. Violet is about to transition into prep in 2021. When she had her interview with the prep principal, they were really impressed with her and told us that she was ready to transition. So huge credit to our educators. I've loved every minute. I just love what I do. Are you excited for big school? As parents, we've got a lot on our plates. I do have other children and I work full time, so does my husband, so time is of the essence. The centres give your child the day you want to give them. They love candy. For me, what we were particularly looking for was a centre that could cater for parents and families like us. So our centre provides all meals, which was one less thing that we have to worry about. Charlotte is going to get beautifully nutritious meals throughout the day. Everything is provided there. Our centre is a, a long daycare centre, open from 6.30am to 6.30pm. I don't know what's going to happen in my work day, so they also offer flexible hours to cater for normal family life and the changes that we do see week to week. What I didn't realise at first was these centres are proper kindy. So the kindy program that they offer is aligned with the Department of Education's Early Years Learning Framework, so it's exactly the same as what you would get at a kindergarten. The only difference is I can send my child five days a week, 52 weeks a year. The food is prepared. Those relationships she's developed with educators in the lead up to preschool are maintained. There's no disruption. Grace left to go to big school. We were both very sad. And then she came in to me maybe a couple of months ago and said, I got to go have a student of the week. And who was the first person you wanted to show the award to? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so proud that now she's going to school and she's just exceeding. How are you? She's going to be even more confident and more comfortable to really carry everything she's learnt and she's gotten out of kindy into school. I am a huge advocate of early education and what that has given my family. I know that if we see Miss Chelsea down in the shops, Violet will run up and jump in her arms. And I will too. <laughs> it's an enabler for me to be able to forge ahead in my career, but also that I'm doing the best thing for my children and I don't have to make a choice. I have it all.